previously on Project 253. Anyways, I'm going to let that cool. I'm going to lay a coat of paint on the batch bars and I'm going to start laying down some primer. I'm going to redo the whole process of cleaning the bar that I just made for the jack point. I'm going to clean it all off, prime it, paint it, and then probably let that sit for the night. So, uh, Dudes, yeah, it's been a while, right? Well, for me, it's been a while. I've been working on the same video for who knows how long. Uh, the last few days, I've been, I had to go back to work. We're doing this weird work schedule where I'm working more now, so I got less time to do this stuff, and I've been hauling cars around for people. I uh, brought a Nova out to my stepfather. Uh, I gotta bring an El Camino, and I gotta bring a Corvette for paint this afternoon, tonight, something. So it's been pretty hectic around here. I haven't had time to do the stuff that I wanna do, and I've been leaving you guys hanging. I'm very sorry. There's also other stuff in the works. Uh, I'll probably talk about it more at the end, but I'm kinda working on some strategy and stuff, and that's why the videos are kinda slowed down, because I'm occupied with other stuff. Anyways, these bash bars and my, my jack point. This bar goes across, my bash bars, looking good, all done, nice and fresh. So the idea was to put those on the car, but in the meantime, while I was waiting for that paint to dry on that stuff and everything else, I lifted up the car off the ground, painted those calipers. Needs a little touch up. They still look, whoa. Huh. Hey, come on, come on back. I, I gotta get a new camera at some point too. Woo. So um, I was supposed to mount those and I took the wheels off the car and everything and I was doing the once over, checking all the suspension, make sure everything's cool. I painted the calipers because I don't like the yellow because yellow means chicken. I actually thought about painting this whole car yellow, but that's besides the point. I'm talking too much to you guys now. And uh, I'm going to try to set up an e-brake. I worked on something last night. I totally fumbled. I screwed it up. Uh, I guess I was overtired or something, but I measured wrong and basically built the bracket backwards. So that was a total fail. Uh, in my frustration last night, I started over completely and started. I used another e-brake handle that I had whole the bracket the cylinder the whole works um so yeah today i'm just gonna try to put stuff together and okay so today's mission because we're not gonna bother bolting up those bash bars until the car's back on the ground just to make sure i can get the jack out from underneath it doing the e-brake <laughs> now check this out this is the stock one right and if you look at the bracket here look at that angle look look okay it's back there and then we move on to this side and oh it's on a slant can you see the difference that's a problem. I built the bracket yesterday. I put a curve in it. Didn't work. Uh, so last night again, I went over. I need a light for this. So last night I went over it again, and what I did is I decided I'm going to make that bracket in two pieces. Now to get that curve, like you saw, and the difference in depth of both the screw sets. Well, I've got this piece right here. I'm trying to get the right angle on it. Trying to grind it down slowly, make sure it fits, and I'll show you what I'm fitting it to. So the idea was to make it kind of sit nice and flat so it'll be strong bolted in and here's the other piece so i really need a camera crew or a light command or something so anyways see how this is flat this is bolted up so that crew piece is going to sit right here from this bolt point to here and that should be nice and solid then i'm going to put the bracket for the e-brake straight up here weld some sort of bracing inside of it maybe like a piece going out this way to make it stiffer and then e brake's gonna sit about there, I think. I'm not sure, since this is round two, I'm trying to make my e-brake work. I might try to relocate it, but for now, I gotta work on grinding that piece down, getting the proper angle, bolting it all together, and hoping that I can get that welded right there because the welder doesn't actually reach that far in the garage. Granted, it doesn't fit, it's tacked up. I'm gonna put it in. I only put two little tacks on it because I wanna make sure everything's in the right place. I made this mistake yesterday. And also, with just two tacks on it, I could probably bolt the main plate down. And then that second piece with the curve in it, which is gonna be a little more difficult, I can sort of bend it a little bit. It gives me a little play with just a little tacks on it. It's not completely solid yet, so I could still work it a little bit. Hopefully, I snap it off. So I'm gonna fit it inside the car. I'm not gonna bother filming fitting it that part in the car because, well, there's no light, we can't fit in there with the camera and me, and I've only got two hands, so if it fits, I'll be welded. 
the pit. Okay, so I've been welding the way. I forgot to turn the camera on. What you guys missed so far, well, you saw this plate get measured up. You saw that get all measured up. You saw that get done. This plate here that the e-brake handles on, I made that I made that last night. I made the holes in the right places. So now I kind of changed my design a little bit, brought it down a little bit lower, welded these plates together. So now I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna put one here, sort of like so, and then this one is gonna fit in there. And they're gonna kind of like triangulate and make a little nice piece for strength. And that'll give the top half enough strength for when I'm yanking on it, left to right, forward, back. It should be strong enough. The bottom mount goes straight down. And then that like bolts to the chassis and it's a pretty large plate. So the left, right, up and down, that, that's, that's all covered. So it should be good. I'm gonna weld that stuff up. Then I'm gonna whip out the trusty uh, flat pad there, whatever you call it, <laughs> it's a flat disc and grind it down smooth, paint it. And then that's, that's it for the handle. We got lots to do while I'm waiting for the paint to dry on that handle though, so stay tuned. We'll paint it while that's drying. I gotta run the new line from where the handbrake's gonna sit to the back of the car, figure out something to block those lines off, and then we can just line it right in because I'm not doing the dual caliper thing I thought I was gonna do, but I can't really afford it right now, so I'm gonna block off the rear brakes, and just run the handbrake, bleh, just run the handbrake the hydro brake to the rear wheels. Most of my stopping power is in the front anyway and my pads are so glazed from doing burnouts and donuts that it's, they're all cooked anyway. They don't work at all, my back brakes don't work. So this way, I'll have functioning back brakes, functioning front brakes where most of my braking power is anyway and we're gonna be good to go, drift, drive fast. Now I'm gonna pull the, let me see. I'm just gonna pull the handle off to paint it because I don't really wanna paint the handle, it's already dirty and nasty enough. And also, one last thing. Before I paint it, I'm gonna grind this little buddy off because it's a pain in the ass for nothing. It doesn't really work anymore, so. Give her some primer. All right, I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. Okay, it's day something, something, I don't know, I'm trying to make this video. As you can see from yesterday, I got sunburned from the welder. But uh, all right, so this is mounted. Now it's time to throw it in the car and start doing up some lines. I started yesterday, ran the line behind the battery and stuff. It's really rough, but I gotta bring, make it tie down. Can you guys even see that in here? So that curves there, that curves there. I'm gonna run up to the e-brake. And I should be good for some skids, baby. All right guys, so back in the shop now. We're back on the list. Now check it out, I did a bunch of stuff while the camera was charging. I'm gonna have to figure out a new camera deal because this is ridiculous. Camera's always, battery's dying on me so quick. So anyways, now that you see you, I've got the mount outside painted. I just gotta throw that in. Controllers are mounted. I did that while you guys weren't looking. Hydro brake, we did all that. Now while the camera was charging again, Last night I put the calipers back together. You guys didn't get to see that, but you pretty much know what that's about, I'm assuming, if you're watching this. Then I bled the rear brakes. I figure you guys know that too. and just bent and flared some tubing. That's all you missed. I've got everything pretty much ready to go. I put most of the interior back in the car. The center console is around the steering column. I sticker bombed it to match the intake tube. So let's check that out real quick. Uh, yeah, so we're definitely getting somewhere. So inside, you can see hydro brake is installed. Very solid, not much play in it. And I sticker bomb that baby. Woo! Shout out to my boy Blacken for getting me that sticker. Oh, check it, 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 check it out. And that's all part of just making the car more mine. Most of the interior is back in, everything around the steering column, the panels, shifting. I just gotta put the ashtray back in. Figure out something for that hole maybe, but otherwise, interior's pretty much done. That was a hurdle to get through, plus doing that e-brake, so that's a big part of what I wanted to get done that's done now. So moving on to the next thing, I think it's time to put it on the ground, put that bash bar on the front, and check out where we're, on, where we're at, whatever.
Well, today I guess is uh, all about making that car look more like a car. Gonna bolt a bunch of stuff onto it. I'm gonna put the headlights on, put the hood back on, put the passenger seat back in. Finish all that with mounting the front bumper because I've gotta put in these uh, quick release kind of deals. Let's see if I can find it really quick. No, it's gone. Oh, here it is. So I got some of these. You guys are familiar with those. It's password JDM. It's a, uh, you know, I'm gonna try those out. I've never used a set before and uh, maybe it's gonna work. So that's the plan today. Put this thing back together. So let's get at it. Not waste any more time. If everything goes well, we'll take it for a ride. Test out the e-brake. If everything is good to go, I'm gonna start looking for some new tires. like a car again. Dirty, nasty. All that's really left to do now, I guess, is take it out for a little ride, see if the e-brake works, see if the bumper stays on. And then uh, basically we're good to go. The only thing left to do after that is the fun little stuff. I have to put a rear bash bar and jacking point on it. It's kind of important, but not that important. I can run it all year, doesn't matter. And then the other things is like door cards, little pretty things, you know, make it look a little nicer. But that's about it. So I'm gonna clean up stuff and put some tools away and make some room to get this thing, gotta move the truck and stuff. Take it outside and we'll see what it does. I've got to seat the brakes, so I'm gonna go for like medium speed stuff, pull the handbrake, slow the car down, get them nice and hot so they bed, they settle, they get nice and seated. So while my dog's being annoying, I'm gonna go get my wallet, my glasses and stuff, and then we're gonna hit the road. Ready, ready? Let's do it. So the idea here is basically I wanna get out there and make sure the brakes settle fine, so I'll get those nice and warm, and then I wanna get the car hot enough, and then we'll check out that paint job I done on the intercooler, see if that melts off, because I don't think it's good quality paint. Let's do what we can do.
Yo. It worked. So that's that. Everything worked out nice. The e-brake works. The brakes are seated. I got it nice and warm. Everything checked out good. It ran good. It ran great. Uh, I forgot there was a bunch of stuff in the back of the car, so it was a little clunky when we were driving around. I'm sure you heard that in the little clip. Uh, overall, I'm very content. She's ready to go. There's a few little things left, mostly cosmetic, but not too, too much to worry about. I gotta do my bash bar, a few little maintenance things, but nothing big. The next video, or the upcoming video, it's gonna be getting this thing ready for the track, like getting the tires all ready, making sure everything's good, changing all the fluids, but that's a whole other video. So, peace.